Okay, welcome to the show. I got for you a couple quick product reviews, so I'm going to try to make these short. First of all, got a couple new helmets for you. So, got first here the S Works. This is the X Works Evade. As you can see right there, X Works Evade, X Works Evade Aero Helmet or Semi Aero Helmet. So, uh, as you can see here, there's a newer model out. Um, so, S Works were running these on sale. Uh, first one I got here. So, I had to buy a whole bunch of new kit and picked up one of these. They're typically about 250 bucks. Uh, so, I got it for 150 about $100 off. Pretty good helmet so far. Uh, really comfortable. Not too much uh, venting, but just enough to keep your head cool. Um, but I still, there's still a lot of venting in the front. Some large vents. So, uh, as you can see here, it's not too heavy. Um, some nice big, big vents in the back, as you can see here, for exhaust. And as you can see, the way the channeling is there, it takes. It has the Bernoulli, uh, sorry, the Venturi effect. It takes advantage of the Venturi effect to, uh, to exhaust air out of the back. So, but I do have been wearing a cap like this to keep my head warm when it's uh, colder. Retention system is pretty basic. It's a basic ratchet uh, system. I do not like it as well as I like the lasers. Um, but there are some features of this helmet that I wish other companies would incorporate into their helmets. Like, for instance, the buckle system is, as you can see here, it's just, you, it's magnetic. So, see that? In order to attach it, I just get it near it and it snaps right on. So, very easy to unsnap. It has a little clip piece there to hold it in. Just snaps right in. That's all you have to do. So, magnetic strap, absolutely love it. And instead of having the adjustment straps on the side, they're all, these are both one size, and they fit pretty perfectly. They're just, it's kind of like an auto-adjust system. So, I like the strapping system on this better than I do any of the other helmets. Okay, very easy to adjust. Okay, so, very good helmet. Absolutely loving it. Uh, wear quite often, kind of takes the place of my old uh, O2 helmet as far as for my white helmet that I got. So, here's my old, old two, O2 helmet from later. Still a good helmet. It's got the bug netting inside. So, I've been, uh, I've been I still enjoy this helmet, but as you can see, I got a couple of dings and stuff on it. But I still use it, just not. This is a little bit heavier of a helmet than this guy is. This is considerably lighter. Okay, so the lasers aren't on the light side. So this is a little bit lighter than even the laser helium. So the second helmet I got is laser helium. I'm going to kind of pan over to this guy here. So this is the laser helium. Been absolutely loving this guy as well. Uh, I got this uh, in the high orange. Uh, so there is a, a newer one for the high-end helmets. It's called the Z1. And uh, then, the, of course, they got the bullets which is the complete aero helmet. Uh, it's very similar to this one, except it has an adjustable vent in the front. It's actually more closed off than the S-Works Evade helmet. Aero helmet, or semi-aero helmet, I should say. Sorry. So, still looks very similar. Laser still does a very similar type of thing in the back uh, to make their helmets extremely aero, as you can see. They do something very similar. Uh, the only difference is the O2 doesn't have the large venting in the back. Uh, like the uh, Z1 has. And the helium as well wasn't massively vented. It has some bigger venting back here. Some uh, circular venting here and one back the back of the headpiece. The nice thing is though that you're not going to get is you're not going to get hot spots. Because laser once again, uh, the nice thing is uh, with this guy, uh, and this is a MIPS by the way, so you have the MIPS, MIPS system, uh, but as you can see in there, with the MIPS piece, so that's going to roll, roll around in there, 
and prevent your head from the latitude of forces. So you have uh, this one has a pad in the front and has three pads on the bottom. Uh, they're antimicrobial. Uh, they do have the uh, adjustment the straps on the side, but they're easily uh, sorry. They're, they do slide easel, easily. You do have two straps here, unlike the S Works, which um, the S Works just has a one single strap. Then have two straps, which is well, makes it a little bit lighter weight. Um, I do like that. This though has some more adjustment options in the back. You can actually take this and pull it one way or the other and if you have too much of the strap because it uses two straps you can actually shorten and cut it off. Use a standard buckle system which is fine but it does have this thing called the Rolsis system so as you see here it does have this piece in the back it does adjust up and down the back head cup piece area and the nice thing about the Rolsis system is females absolutely love this. this is great for ponytails if you've got a ponytail or even men for that matter and then what you do is you you spin this knob on the top and it will tighten the helmet but it doesn't just tighten the back part of the helmet it pulls the whole helmet so the this piece here cable retention system actually comes over to here and pulls the entire band together so you don't actually develop any hot spots so you're not pulling your head against the helmet you're pulling the strapping ar around your head I'm going to loosen this up okay there that's how the roll system works with this this pulls your head into the helmet and if you if you notice here the strap of the retention system is actually attached to the side of the helmet to the, the foam. So I uh, still have about the same amount of padding. You have this piece, this piece, and this piece. Still works very much similar, just a little bit more aerodynamic with the S Works. Okay, the nice, the other nice thing that the laser does with the helium is it has this carbon reinforced force portions here, here, and here in between so that when you hit it's not a multi-impact helmet, don't get me wrong or don't don't take this the wrong way when I say that it's it has a carbon fiber for multiple impacts it's not saying that when you have an impact with this helmet that you can get up and ride and keep riding, it's when there are accidents where you might hit your head more than once, you have multi multiple impacts and so what happens is uh, it protects against that. They found out that what happened was happening with certain helmets is there you get hit once and then the helmet would fall apart except in the, the case of some of these aero helmets where they're like uh, very solid but in the case of these helmets that have multiple vents in them they're breaking and they're just shattering apart and then you you roll and hit something else you, don't, you still don't have any protection so you're now missing protection so uh, with this system uh, you don't have that problem because of the carbon fiber. Also, if you look in the old helmet, oh, sorry about that. The old helmet it does not have the adjustability in the back for the for the strap. So and it's cable. So they had a cable system which was a little heavier. The helium doesn't. Use a special cord. Still can be changed out. You can still pull this off, change the cord out if you need to. Uh, the, another, the other thing that's really nice about this that you don't get with the O2 is the fact that you can take this piece off here and you put a little LED light on it. Okay, So you don't really have that option with some of these others. Uh, you also can put, there's a heart rate monitor that you can put on this. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else that they have. They also have an aero shell that you can snap onto it. Now, the Zeta 1 or the Z1 uh, is not the is not it's lighter, a little bit smaller, a little bit thinner, more like this. 
So it's designed a little bit different, but the nice thing is you can find these heliums on sale. I got this one, Performance Bicycle. Uh, standard price is $230, and I got this one for $150. So you can get these on sale for quite a good deal. In fact, if you want the Genesis, which is very similar to this, uh, they're about $100. So the nice thing is for $150, you're getting a MIPS system, which is, I think, extremely reasonable. So that's it for me today, folks. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video uh, showing off those. Oh, one other thing with laser, which always get you get a helmet bag. So two helmet bags I got. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the show. Uh, if you did, make sure you click up there and subscribe and give us a thumbs up. As well as over here, I got another video for you guys, so you can go ahead and click on that video there. And uh, watch some more videos. Like always, keep riding.